What is up, YouTube? This is Black Chaos kicking my boy Wayne6578. We got a Walking Dead review for you guys. Episode we're going to review is called Spend. Very, very crazy episode. We'll get right into it with these questions. See what's really going on. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Wayne6578. Ah, man. This episode Spend. We started off again, man. Again, the writers, they're going to X somebody out, and it has to be an African American. Everybody hates Chris, even the writers of Walking Dead. So sad. So, so sad. Noah's dead, man. What's your take on Noah dying and the way he died? And do you think it was a good time for him to go, or what? What do you think? I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know if it was a good time for him to go or not. I really can't see. I mean, he, he the, the writers kind of led you to think that he was going to be there for a while. He was talking to the, the carpenter of the town, mm -hmm. saying he was going to learn how to build. I want to help you guys. I want to learn how to build these walls. And they kind of let you know. Then they showed that he was, like, kind of getting around. He could shoot good, so he could kill zombies real quick. And his aim was good. And then... African American had to go in one of those revolving doors, man. You, you know what I feel? This is what I feel, man. You know, uh, the guy that's coming, that's been following them, that ain't showed up yet. I forgot his name, man. Washington or whatever his name is. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. They figure he's coming, man. There's too many blacks on the show, man. Like <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Too but many. You have to take some. How about, you. as far as his death, man, the, the two... The two deaths in this episode span, well, I say would probably be two of the gruesiest, gruesiest deaths I've ever seen, man. It's you—you you actually felt the pain watching that stuff. <laughs> His mouth ripped. He ripped. Noah's mouth got ripped, and the other dude was basically watching himself get eaten for like five minutes. Yeah. So I think those were probably some of the nastiest ones that we've seen so far. But they made Noah. It was it was pretty bad. Like even Glenn was getting freaked out by that. He was like, Jesus. <laughs> uh, what do you think about Eugene, man? I give you my take on uh, Eugene finally stepping up. You know, they were uh, walking around the perimeter, and uh, Eugene is talking to I forget the girl's name, but he's talking to her, and she's like, Man, I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here, man. I tell you, I shouldn't be here. And she's like, No, you need to start pulling your weight. You know. He said, I'm the reason you guys are in Washington, D.C. And then he says, and then she says, no, we brought you here, so you owe us. So it finally comes down to where Eugene has to step up. You actually see Eugene shoot a gun and do something, man. What's your take on Eugene finally stepping up and pulling his weight? You know, I want to go back to when he was actually talking to her walking outside, you mm -hmm. know. She said, man, you were really a coward. And he said, yes, I am, yes. <laughs> Yes, I'm a coward. But um, I don't know, man. I think he got to the point where he was like, man, I got to do something, man. I got to do something. Because I actually, the way they did the episode made it look like he was about to leave her. He was like, hey, man, this is your I fault. I thought so, too. I thought this so is your too. fault. I'm not, I'm not who you think I am, man. I told y'all about this, whatever. But then he grabbed her, and, you know, he, his aim is a little off. But he takes he take about four or five bullets to kill a zombie, but he kills him. But, I mean, yeah, he pulled his weight big time in this episode, man. I did not think he was going to do anything. I mean, he seen him. He basically saved. Well, he saved Glenn. <laughs> yeah. Saved Glenn. Yeah. Glenn and the other dude. Yeah. Killed Noah. What's the other guy's name? But, uh, okay. Um, so, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Gabriel's confession, man. Or his tattletale or his lie or whatever. So, Gabriel comes to Deanna in the middle of the night after he has his breakdown and rips the Bible in half or whatever. He comes to her and he tells him that, uh, you know, this place is paradise, but you let some angels in here, I mean, some wolves in disguise, you know, he said these people are most of Rick's group, especially Rick, you know, they're not as nice as they seem, you know, they're devils in disguise. He said, uh, you gotta get these people out of here. Uh, my take is I think it's uh, him just trying to I don't want I don't think he wants Deanna's group and Alexandria to find out what he did back at his church and the only people that know what he did 
They don't really know what he did, but they know something went down. Is Rick's group. But I don't know what other reason would he have to tell Deanna that these people are no good, they're bad, they kill people and all that stuff when they saved his life, man. So I don't know what's up with that, but what's your take on uh, Gabriel's very, confession, man? That's very interesting. I didn't think about that, trying to save his own, you know, his history or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I think the dude is, like, I, I still think he's hiding a whole lot, a whole lot that Rick and him don't even know about. So I don't know, man, but that was kind of a punk move, but I don't know, man. I just, it's real weird. It's like, I came with this group and now I'm going to tell you that they bad. You know, who's to say that I haven't been doing a lot of stuff with yeah, them? Yeah, you were with them. But if you, if you do recall, Deanna said they've been watching them for a long time. So they saw what Rick and them were doing. It's like they just do it to survive. So you think I they think saw the church and all that? when they No, they didn't see the church. But when they start following them, that's what Aaron said. Aaron said, man, I see you guys don't turn on each other. You guys stick together. You guys are the, one of the only groups we've seen that well, really are f- for each other. So I think it's going to backfire on Gabriel. Yeah. Well, so and you and, and and Maggie heard him. So. Yeah. So. What the hell was Maggie doing in the basement anyway? But anyway, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, no, what uh, the hell was Maggie doing in her basement? That's where she sleeps, man. She probably, she probably was watching some clothes, man. She was getting that. caught up on Walking Dead, man. She was watching the DVR downstairs in the basement. I didn't, I didn't understand that. What? They had to set it up so she can come and eavesdrop. But anyway, so yeah. Carol and the little boy, and the, I call him the Cookie Monster. The Cookie Monster comes in there, and this is my question. Why was Carol's door open so the boy could walk in the house? I'm like, you guys just moved into this town, man. You guys are real trusty. Carol, Carol is hard as hell, man. She ain't afraid of it. She don't care. But anyway, so the boy eventually says, why were you getting asked? Why were you getting the guns? And she says, hey, I'm getting the guns for protection. He asked for the gun. So Carol says, what do you need the gun for? The, go- the boy breaks away and runs away. So she puts two and two together, goes over there and speaks to the guy. Uh, his name is Pete. She speaks to Pete and... She realizes that Pete is obviously abusing either the wife, Rick's new main squeeze, or the boy, or bo- maybe both. Cookie Monster. So she comes back to uh, Rick and says, hey, man, you're going to have to kill that guy. There's <laughs> only one way you can do it. It's like, let's not go to Deanna and say, hey, this is going on. Let's try to put him in a jail or put him in a safe house or isolate him. Nah. You got to kill this guy. <laughs> That's how they do it, man. That's real, man. That's real, dude. What I, do you think about that? Uh, well, you know, Carol has been um, abused in the past. So, mm-hmm. you know, Carol maybe sees that it's no way you can get around that. I mean, it's no, it's no like, let's go taking counsel and nothing like that. She's been through it. And she probably knows that, you know, maybe her husband, when she was married to her husband, he was abusing her, went through counseling and nothing happened. You know, he kept doing it. So maybe she says, there's no way you can get out of that. You know, maybe she sees something that she's been through it. So, you know. Okay. Yeah. All right, man. That's basically it. I don't have any other questions, man. Uh, The next episode is called Try. I don't know what these guys are going through with these names of these episodes, but whatever. Forget, spin, and try. But uh, it'll be real interesting. I can't wait for the next episode. Uh, Rain and Ravens couldn't sit in on this one with us or Random Thoughts, so me and Black Chaos 7865 did this one. So uh, be on the lookout for the next one. Uh, thanks for spending time with us. 26578, I'm out. Black Chaos, out. Okay.